Hello there, noobers, and welcome back to another episode of Game of Noobs. Now, I'll be your host today, Tim, and I was going to be bringing you a, <coughs> excuse me, uh, another Tropico episode. However, something interesting came up on the Steam sale that I've had my eye on for a while, and I had a coupon, so I'm presenting to you today U-Boat. Um, yeah, I think it's basically a submarine management game pretty much not sure I've watched some videos on it that's kind of the gist I'm getting if you don't know about U-boats um, basically it's short for if I remember rightly Untrusiboot I probably completely butchered that but that is basically German for undersea boat or U-boat um, and they pretty much nearly crippled us during World War Two. Uh, these little buggers wrecked havoc on North Atlantic shipping and sunk countless number of ships. It was quite literally the one thing that nearly nearly scuppered us before the war even got underfoot. Anyway, I'll not bore you too much with the history. If you're interested in the history, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of stuff out there for you to look at. However, Let's jump right into it. Now, this is literally the first time I've fired this game up. I have literally just finished downloading it. So, I've never played it before. So yes, I am going to be a complete and utter noob and skip the tutorial and go for sandbox mood. Oh, right, uh, okay. Um, I suppose... Units? Um, I suppose I'd best go for... Knots. I suppose, save mode, normal, what? Gameplay, normal? First, uh, no, um, audio language. I'd like it to be in English because I'll not understand you German. Sorry, I didn't really listen at school very much. Darker Nights, do I want Darker Nights? I don't know, do I? Okay, well, realistic bilge, manual item delivery. What's that do? Uh, I'll skip that, that sounds complicated. So yeah, literally, I am discovering this game as we go. Quite literally, sink or swim. <laughs> you, you see what I did there? Sink or swim. Get it? Yeah? I'll shut up now. Um, yeah, so literally I fired up this game, tweaked around the graphic settings a bit because playing things on 4K... <sighs> To be honest, I wish I didn't bother with 4K. I wish I stayed with a good old-fashioned 1080 monitor. Yeah, I don't see the benefit for 4K at the minute, really. I've got it, and I have to deal with it, but it absolutely plays hell with trying to sort out your graphic settings to get your FPS stable and a, a high full F FPS. It's an absolute pain in the backside. To anybody who's thinking about upgrading to 4K, don't bother. Just stay with 1080. Ugh. It has some benefits, but not... Ooh, hang on. We have swinging meat. Why do we have meat swinging? Who are you dudes? Who are you dudes? Oh, I've not even left Harbour yet. Okay. Um, the hell am I doing? Warehouse? What do, need, what do I need? Well, I could do with a guy with two eyes. That would help. What's that do? We've put, picked up active radio. What? Take a look. Um. Um. Do you ever sometimes get the feeling you maybe should have played the tutorial first? Yeah. Oh, that's what I've got on the boat. Okay. Okay. Well, I've got four of those. So can I have one of those? Oh, is that like there's a credit system here? Oh, there is. Budget. Well, let's not skimp on the torpedo, shall we? Let's... That's okay. That's how that works. Okay. Food. I don't really have a lot. What's that? Ah, large calibre HE ammo. Well, let's go for ammunition. Let's have a look here. Spares, I suppose. Scrap, 
replacement parts, what are those? Potassium absorbers. Oh, I see. I didn't know they had that stuff back then. Basically there for scrubbing carbon dioxide out of the air so you can keep breathing. Yes, clever. Sonar decoys, exotic fruits, cheese. Um, let's have some ammo. Oh, whoa, shit. Um, yeah, that's broke the budget. Let's, let's, let's just, let's just dacker that off a bit. And a bit more. Uh, who did our bullets cost so much? I suppose that's for, yeah. Uh, what's that? What have I got left? Uh, that's not looking good. What's that for? Large caliber armor piercing ammo. We'll stick to that. Fuel. Well, I suppose f fill the tank. Items, what's here? Do I need? Diving suit, combat helmet, breathing apparatus, coffee. Uh, do I need submachine guns, small arms? Don't know. Food, do I want more food? I don't bloody know. <coughs> Preserved pork. Is that short for bacon? I think we need bacon. Wow, bacon costs a lot. Nip down Tesco's and get an absolute bucket full for less than that. Robin bastards. Is that it? Is that all I can fit in? Do, can I not have any more? Oh no, it looks like I can have a lot more. Let's get some fresh fruit and veggies. What? Ah, Go back. Upgrade? What can I upgrade? Um. Can I upgrade storage? Where's storage? Man, I'm so confused. Oh. Okay. Uh, what well, I don't go back. Um, close. Um. Listening room. Crapper. Holy crap, so you pretty much have to nearly surface to use the shitter. What a downer. <clears throat> I'd be screwed on one of these things. I mean, I crap like three times a day. On average. I'd be stuffed. Alright, okay, well I don't think I can upgrade anything. Um, goodbye. Um, do I... Just set sail? Transmission from HQ. I'm clicking on it. And it selected him. Yes, sir. Hmm. No. Nope. What am I doing? No. Nope. Go back. Yes, sir. Oh. Okay. Uh, Port of La Rochelle. Right. Okay. So I'm in southern France. Um, can I just set sail? Or do I need to hire more people? Ah oh, man, I really should have played the tutorial. I suck ass. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Ah, what did I do? Uh, I sped things up, that's why. Hmm. 
Who's that? Who's that? Can you just get on the boat or something? I'm confused. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I should have played the tutorial. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. I'm going to play the tutorial. I really, really, really... Just exit this crap. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> tutorial. Yes. Just go with all that. Yeah, cool. Happy days. Go, go, go. dramatic intro there. In fairness, you could think about it. How grim must it have been? Stuck underwater most of the time, surrounded by a bunch of sweaty Germans, although I suppose you'd have been a German yourself, because you wasn't allowed to wash. From what I if, if history like history serves, you weren't allowed to wash, like hardly ever, to conserve drinking water. I mean, can you imagine that? And then at any moment Perhaps not at the beginning, but eventually when the Allies started to catch up on anti-submarine technology. Depth charges, man. Yes. Talk to you. Hello. Officer Cole. Skipper. Get on board and prepare for the road. Our orders are on my desk. Make yourself familiar with them. Oh. Okay. How do I get down? I didn't know there was a first person mode. Ah, hold on. Can I? Please. Please. Let me. No. Why are you doing this to me? Ah. <sighs> I wanted to play with the rat tat tat Attack periscope, don't need that at the minute, I suppose. Oh, I've got to go down again. How the... Nope. Climb down. There we go. Nope. Nope. Navigation. Don't I need to go to, like, his desk or something? Skipper's desk. Orders. Before noon on September the 1st, the transport vessel Falcon left the port of Edinburgh. We have information that a radar technology prototype has been loaded on it. We have reasons to think that the ship we sunk on its original course on the North Sea as a result of sabotage. Your task is to find the wreckage, retrieve the equipment, and if possible, avoid being detected by the British units. We cannot be linked to the sabotage or attempts to seize the radar. Ugh. Little bit of espionage. So, officer's bunk. Put down briefcase. <clears throat> okay. Ah, so right, this is going to 
show me a few things. Officers, it's time to open up the map and plot the course. The easiest way to do this is to press the M key on the keyboard or to press the button on the upper right. Okay, we'll just do M then. Good, now set the ship's course by clicking the right mouse button on the target. Um, I don't know where I want to go. Where do I want to go? Where am I? Ooh, I'm over there. I don't know where I want to go. On the target. What was the target? A little more information here would be nice. Ooh. Ah, hold on. Boom. Ah. Ugh, that's going to be a long one. Time to start the engines. Click the highlighted button to show. Faster, faster. Right, I suppose I maybe should have spotted these things before. Is that the only views I can have? Can't I spool it around to like... Ah, there we go. Whee! Lamborghini boat! It's just moments, I just know the world would be weird. I get the feeling this game could be a little slow paced. What are you dinging at? Why are you dinging? I'm not. I'm, of course, I'm not averse to a averse. Averse is the word I was looking for to a slow pace game. I do love them. However, it probably doesn't make great viewing for you guys. But ooh, when you are in friendly or neutral sea, then also the fast travel mode becomes available. Ah, cool. Time compression. Right. Okay. So that's fast travel. Really? That's fast travel? I would say that's moderately quicker ch travel rather than fast travel. Open sea, North Sea, yes. So is it now because I'm in... Uh, familiar time, familiar the boat, prepare for what is to come. I've prepared a list of things worth doing in the meantime. Select Officer Kohler, Collar, yeah I'm butchering these, and assign him necessary tasks, or if you prefer to play in FPP, click on him twice. Let's just play first person. Get out of your bunk, you lazy shitbox. Find and discipline sailors that don't do their jobs. Restock food in the galley. Are you not doing your job? Can I hit you in the balls? What about you? Are you not doing your job? You? How do I bollock people? Um, well, there's some little buttons over here. Let's go on. Icon buttons? Icons. That's what I'm looking for. Ah, that way still. Okay. Tell you what, this does look quite good. As in, like... <coughs> yeah, aesthetically, it looks quite good. Right. 
Right, okay, so I need to give them various food types, but the only choices I've got is fruit and cheese. Don't need too many fruits. Don't want you pooping more. I suppose that'll do. Oh, a dickhead. Ah, sleeping on the job. Oh, what to do? Warn him? Give him some. Cr uh, yeah, make him clean the shitters. Rest him. Or execution. Hmm. Conrad Otto will be executed. Discipline grows by 25%. Arrest. We place in the brig. He won't be able to. Available during this time. Discipline grows by 10%. Cleaning the shitters. He'll be unavailable. Discipline grows by 5 A warning. No effect. Yep, shit cleaning. <laughs> I could have had you shot, mate. Could be worse. Anyway. Now what am I doing? Going back this way, apparently. Maybe I should have shot him. Nah, might need him. Well, you get the fuck out of my way. Cheers. I can't go any further this way. Oh, I can. Um. Well, there are T2s. What's the difference? Steam propelled torpedo and an electric torpedo. How the hell do you propel a torpedo by steam? Well, I'm going to load one in there. Buff. I think I'm going to have to go away and do a bit of looking up on torpedoes after this. Because I did not know you could get steam-powered torpedoes, and I'm frankly bewildered at how that works. Might get back to you on that one, if it interests you. And if you haven't guessed, I'm a bit of a nerd. See, so am I watching the whole process? I think so. Weird rail thing came. I suppose that's what you used to slide it in with. It's a longer process than you think. You really wouldn't want to miss your shots. Being a history nerd, but not knowing a great deal necessarily about how submarines worked, I don't know if that's a bad thing, but I think I want to learn more. This game will probably give me a good insight into that, I reckon. Why are you buffing the torpedo? Does it make it go faster? Is torpedo buffing a... thing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That sounds wrong. Excuse me, sir, while I go buff my torpedo. Yes, euthanisms. <sighs> and these are all seamen. Ah, well, actually, no submariners, but still. Yeah. Torpedo buffing. Is it clean enough yet? You know, has it got a nice shiny patch on it? Is it, is it good to go in the tube yet? Oh, God, it all sounds wrong. Buffing a torpedo and sliding it into a tube. Ugh. It could be worse. No, it couldn't. No, it no, it really couldn't. 
can I not leave position? Do, can I just leave them to it? Do I? Do I oh, oh. The torpedo is entering the tube. That's it. You insert that torpedo into the tube. We have, we have penetration. It is inserted. Two, four, loaded. Cool. Cool. So now what do I do? That wasn't actually what they wanted me to do, but okay. The icon is out there. Can I go up? Is that what I need to do? Climb. No, don't close the frickin' hatch. And some lovely wood cladding there. Very nice, very decorative. Chilling, having a fag. Yeah. Oh, and uh, for any American listeners, I'm not being crude or anything when I say having a fag. Um, in the UK, having a fag is a cigarette. A fag is a ciggy. So I'm not being crude. Or nasty. In any way. Yes, sir! Oh, cool. Can I? Can I? Manual mode. Manual mode. Ha ha. This does not turn very fast. Oh. Um. Press to swap ammunition types. What am I pressing? Not that apparently. Um. Um. Nope, uh, nope, don't want that. Ah, there we go. Found it. I'll just pop one off and see what happens. Ugh, I'm getting wet. Abort! Ah! What the shit? Am I going to get washed away? Climb. They've all gone. I can't shoot them anymore. No, oh, that was somewhat uneventful. That could be a little more dramatic. Yeah, okay. Well, I've not really familiarised myself with a great deal. I want to shoot something. Where can I go and sink something? Is there anything spotted? Speed that up a little bit. Yeah, where the hell? Where am I? Oh, back down here. Oop. Yeah. Somewhat confusing. I'm not going to lie. No. Climb. Keep climbing. No, just keep. No. God damn it. Oh yeah, it's dark as hell. That'd be why. Here's speed it up a little bit. Am 
Not there yet. Oh yeah, close. We have reached the area where, according to our intelligence, the f Falcon Wreck should be located. Keep your eyes open, we have to find it before the British. How do I keep my eyes open for it? Considering that it's pretty dark, I suggest you turn on the searchlight mounted on the conning tower. I don't think that we'll be able to spot the wreck otherwise. Okay. Let us go up there and stick on the searchlight. <coughs> oh, god damn it. There we go. No, climb. There we go. Yeah, it's really weird having to click on the climb button every time. Where's the searchlight? Then? Oh, there, there's the searchlight. Can I control the searchlight? Oh, this is weird. Send Officer Cola to the targeting site on the conning tower. That. Aye, aye, sir! Does it do zoomies? I'm gonna go about this way, I suppose. Actually, you know, face it to where I need to be looking. Into the light. There yet? Are we there yet? What am I doing? I have no idea. Let's speed this up a little. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Oh god, I'd be useless. I'd just be doing nothing but clinging to the side, spewing my guts or praying for my mum. I don't know I'd be praying for my mum. Praying to... Yeah, you know what I mean. Begging for mercy. Because I'm, well, crap at... C. Oh, come on. Find this damn ship already. It's got to be somewhere. Ship? Hello? Let's have a look on the map. Alright, oh, I've got to be close to it now then. Um, carry on. Doopy doo, do doopy doop doo. Like seriously, I'm getting nauseous just watching that thing. Oh dear. I still haven't figured out how we dive or anything yet. Hope, better hope we don't come across anything. Otherwise, I'm kind of screwed. Are we there yet? The officers managed to spot the wreck. Plot a direct course towards it. I'm already in the map. There.
Look at that. And these crates may be the equipment that we are looking for. Let's try to check some of them. One thing at a time though. Stop the engine so that we won't pass the wreckage. Uh stop. We're slowing down. We can now check the contents of the crates floating from the wreckage. You can activate all objects floating on the sea surface in the same way as the station. Uh, is it a new boat? It's easiest to look for them in the first person perspective. So, if I click on this guy... Do I do it in this thing? I bet we're just going to click on these crates and we're just going to find like a shit ton of bananas or something. That. Like this. No. Like that. No. Do I... Okay, I don't get it. Skipper. Leave position. Tab to open management screen. Blob. I don't get it. Oh, open. Cheese. <laughs> Place on the deck. Open. More cheese. Oh, what am I doing? Go back. No, wait, what? What am I doing? Ah, crap. Uh, what am I doing? Him. I want him. Ah, oh, what am I doing? I don't want Hans Sommer. I want whoever he was. Who's he? No! Stop it! Ah, what am I doing? I'm so confused. Ah, that'd be why. I think I need to select... How do I do it? How do I move him? not sure. This is quite confusing, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, um... Skip that. Oh, I can't I just click on somebody and change... change what we're trying to do here. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to lie, this is not simple. Like, it's not... Uh, it seems quite fiddly to play, actually. Then again, I suppose I have only just booted it up, but... Yeah, I don't know, it just... To me, it's a bit... Mm, isn't there some way they could maybe simplified this a little? I don't know. I might... Is it just me being an idiot? Could be. I mean, the game looks quite good, and I think it could be when you get into it quite interesting as in like I don't know challenging to the point where you're managing your resources you're trying to avoid getting spotted um, Am I just literally like stockpiling cheese here? 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll try and figure this out. And we'll call that a day for the time being. And I'll come back to you when I've got some more interesting gameplay on this. Thanks for watching. I've been Timmy. And we've been a game of noobs. And we'll catch you next time.